Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome a shot. I won't take it back. I won't. Shut it. Shut it from deepest fathoms. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, GV. Hi, welcome to the GV YouTube channel. I almost said stream. Uh, hello, hello. Welcome back to Skyrim, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in a Skyrim mood before anybody asks, like, oh, is this series back? Is this is it, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. I'm just in a Skyrim mood, folks. Remember, if you're enjoying the series and want to see more of it, leaving likes, leaving comments, subscribe with the bell turned on, all helps out this channel and series to grow. Thank you to those who do that. And also consider following the Twitch and join the Patreon in the links below. Using the links below in the description. Using the links in the description below. You know what I mean. Welcome back, everybody, to Skyrim. Uh, I considered just doing all of the new Anniversary Edition content. That's kind of what I would like to do. And so that's what we're going to do. And the way that we're going to do it is we are going to go through the list of all the Skyrim Anniversary Edition new content that was added and sort of, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, achoo! <gasps> oh, you're not going to tell me, like, stop shouting? Hmm. Yeah, do they? Are they? Oh, are they? Are they reforming the Dawn Guard? Are they? Okay. Uh, anyways, yeah, we're going to, um, try to attempt to do all of the new Anniversary Edition content. The way that we're going to do that is by looking up uh, all of the... Oh, crap. Um, let's see. Magic shouts become ethereal. We're going to do that. Fight! For those that don't know, you can use this to fall. There's going to be at least one person that goes, Whoa, I never knew that you could do that. Go ahead. If that's you, go ahead and post that in the comment section. I want to know. I would like to know if it's you. Uh, anyways, yeah, so Anniversary Edition obviously added a ton of content, and we're going to try to experience all of it, I think. We're going to go down the list from A to Z and experience all of it. So the start of it was Alternative Armors, which is basically just different armor sets that have different sort of, uh, you know, looks to them, etc. Is this Skyhaven Temple? I always get all the names confused and mixed up. <gasps> If this is Sky ha Haven Temple, then that's exactly what we want to find. I know it's north of Winterhold. North of Winterhold. North of Winterhold. Oh, hello there. Welcome to... Okay. Anyways, um... Yeah, so there's one new thing. I'm not going to spoil what they are until we, like, actually see them for ourselves. But there's one new thing, and I think it's right around here. What the heck? A random skelly. Also, is that hammer new? Uh, bound sword, conjure foul zombie... What you got? Come on. Do something. Nice one. Silly skeleton, what do you have? Ancient Nord Warhammer. I'm getting confused with all the stuff now. Like, is that a new weapon? I don't even know. Uh, anyway, look at that guy up there. That's a cool skeleton. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go down the list of all the new content and experience all of it, basically. That's going to be what this series is going to turn into now. Because for the longest time, I was like, well, you know, pure evil, but it's really hard to roleplay in Skyrim. Well, survival mode, but survival mode gets very tedious eventually. Sky Temple Ruins, yeah. And then trying to find the stuff naturally is going to be difficult as well. How about no? No soul gem large enough? How can a skeleton even have a soul, however? hi yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think this is exactly what we wanted to find. Uh, so, yeah. If you're into that, remember, again, leaving likes, leaving comments, subscribe, and with the bell turned on. It helps out this channel and series to grow. So, let me know you want to see more by doing that stuff. And uh, consider becoming a Patreon. Consider becoming a patron over on Patreon. And consider watching the Twitch channel, because we may stream some of this as well. Uh, boop. Oh, sorry about that. Mort, I thought you were a skeleton. My bad. I guess I'm an undead racist. You all look the same to me. Ba, ma, ma. Okay, I think this is literally exactly what we want to find. So what do we have here? The Waters of Oblivion. We have the Oblivion Crisis. We have Hyenril, who has 12 gold, a lockpick, seared slaughterfish, blue mage robes, boots, and an iron dagger. He's got Warlock's Mark. Ooh. Hyenril's Journal. Started the Arms of Chaos. This is exactly what I was looking for. Go away. I don't want to see you. I don't want you to spoil it. First of Sun's Dawn, 4th Era 201. Master Elaine said the Staff of Chaos was crafted by Loreth and passed on through the generations until it was stolen by Jagar Farn, before being shattered into pieces by the Eternal Champion. 
While the pieces may be lost forever, they say centuries later a descendant of Lorith sought to recreate their magic. The results were the arms of chaos, magical staves that harness the power of the sun and the moon. Yet one day the mage dismantled the staves and left them lifeless, convinced they were possessed by some unknown madness. It was my master's obsession to restore these artifacts, and in her honor, it has become mine. If only I could speak to her, I would know what to do next. 17th Reign's Hand, 4th Era, 201. Leave it to my late master to provide guidance on how to proceed. Going through her effects, I found a sketch of the necklace she often wore. It's identical in all ways, but one. There's an orb set in the center of the amulet, teeming with fire. If it's true that Lorith's magic allowed one to travel to distant worlds, then it's possible this orb is a sigil stone. My hunch is right, the staves are missing the same. 22nd of Rain's Hand, 4th Era, 201. My spirit renewed, I scoured the archives in Winterhall and found my path forward. I must find a way to summon three Daedra, guardians of the sigil stones. There's an altar on the eastern shore of Sky Temple Ruins, bearing a Daedric mark. It may be what I need. 28th of Rain's Hand, 4th Era, 201. I fit a snack. The ring used to activate the summoning circle was buried within my late master, which I foolishly had shipped to her ancestral home. The thing she even gifted me the ring, and I mistook it for sentiment. I feel thicker than Nets jelly. Still, complaining won't undo my mistake. The name of the ship was the Sea Stallion. I wonder if I can catch it before it departs. Second of last seed, 4th Era 201. The courier is yet to return. I'm beginning to fear the worst, that the ship had already left the dock long before my letter arrived. I'm not sure what to do at this point. I haven't had much sleep, and my mind is starting to hear creaking noises where nothing exists. I wish my master were here still so I could seek her wisdom. They say there's a shrine of Arche at the pass to the south. Come morning, I will visit it and pray for an answer. Okay, so we have the Warlock's Mark. We've got some Soul Gem Fragments. We've got Ancient Nord Sword. We've got Lesser Soul Gem. We've got Arm of the Moon, Arm of the Sun. Search for information on the Sea Stallion. Hello there. Boopity boop. Just wanted the one-handed experience, you understand. Okay, so let's go take a look at these stabs, shall we? Are they just not even powered at the moment? Uh, weapons. They're weapons, right? I never use staves. Is it misc? Arm of the moon, arm of the sun. Yeah, so these aren't powered just yet. Okay. So, the Arms of Chaos. At the Sky Temple Ruins, I found the body of a mage who was attempting to obtain three sigil stones to restore her magical items. However, I'll need a special ring to summon the necessary Daedra, which the mage accidentally shipped away on a cargo ship called the Sea Stallion. I'll need to visit the East Empire Company and find more information about where the cargo ship was headed. Search for information on the Sea Stallion. See, this is the exact stuff that I'm super interested in. Which is why I think it's better as opposed to just needlessly wandering around everywhere. Why I think it's better... Man, we haven't even been to Windhelm yet? Jeez Louise. Why it's better to just kind of go through the list alphabetically and check off all of these different questuses. Uh, to see the good stuff. Not just the armor sets and what have you. Okay, we're gonna pop Become Ethereal. Fight! We Crack! Ah! Love that shout. Probably just activates console commands, doesn't it? When you do that, probably just activates god mode for a second. I'm betting. Okay, East Empire Company, which is a trading company, for those that don't know. And then who do we have here? We have... Fire Salts, Filter of Water Breathing, Scroll of Flame Cloak, Scroll of Flame Cloak, and Read Loss of the Sea Stallion. Go away, white text. I'm going to take a swig of me water. Going to take a swig of me water. The cats both looked at me as if I should not be doing that accent. Ahem. Authors, the new route you suggested may help us avoid the pirates, but not the storms. The sea stallion now lies at the bottom of Pilgrim's Trench and its cargo along with it. If I ever find that charlatan of a priest we paid to bless the ships, I'm going to rip the amulet of Kinnereth off his neck and strangle him with it. Anyways, if you know any divers looking for a challenge, I've enclosed a portion of water breathing, potion, sorry, and some scrolls with this letter. Won't do anything about the slaughterfish, but at least it'll help you hold your breath. I think there's a quest here at the East Empire Company, too, we could probably get from talking to that guy, but not interested in that one. That is a really interesting side quest, though, when it comes to Skyrim. Okay, so retrieve the ring, which will help us summon 
We're going to go back to Winterhold here. The ring will help us summon three Daedra. <gasps> three Daedra. And then we can kill the Daedra to get a Sigil Stone? Are we getting three... Are we getting three sigil stones? One to power the amulet, one to power one of the staves, the other to power the other staff. Is that what we're doing? For those that don't know, in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, sigil stones were a uh, major part of the game. Uh, you would have to climb the Oblivion Towers and grab the sigil stones in order to shut down the gates of Oblivion. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that was pretty bad. That was a pretty bad fall. In order to close, shut the jaws of oblivion. Whee! Wold, not test. Wold, not test. Ah, my leg. Now, what's going to be difficult is obviously knowing what we have and have not done already. Hello. Do it. Do it. Make my freaking day. What difficulty are we on, by the way? Settings, gameplay, difficulty is adept. Oh, we need to change that back to expert. Why are we on adept? Oh, I know why we're on adept. Oh, that means all my settings got changed. Yeah, because I uninstalled this game from Steam and reinstalled it. Look sensitive, your vibration controller, survival mode, difficulty, expert. Okay. Save on character menu, display, brightness, hut opacity, dialogue, subtitles. Yep. General subtitles. Yep. Depth of field. I think we take that one off. Audio. Yeah, Skyrim is super weird. Ah, oh, crap. That means it adjusted my audio, too. Oh, well. I'll have to just figure that out in editing. Skyrim is super weird, because when you uninstall and reinstall it, it just, like, resets the settings and then re-downloads a whole bunch of stuff, like the Anniversary Edition content. Very bizarre. Okay, let's whirlwind sprint over here. And then we've got Pilgrim's Trench coming. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, crap. It's a snow bear. I just realized what this is. Uh, we're going to pop this. We're going to pop this. We're gonna pop this. Oh no! Uh, let's see. Food? Brook bass? I don't wanna eat these in case. Snowberry crostata. We're gonna eat veggie soup. We're gonna eat potions. Tell me I have some healing. Ba ba da ba 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 Freaking snow bears! Oh my god. Thought that was me dying for sure. Freaking bears in general. Man, the magic casting is so bizarre in Skyrim. It like always seems to mess up. You gotta wait for the full animation. Almost wish like the screen flashed white or something when it was ready to cast. So that we would be able to uh know better when we're supposed to be casting this stuff. By the way, we're playing Vitral Desden, who is a dark elf. Trying to be pure evil, but again, it's very difficult to roleplay in Skyrim. Very difficult. Very difficult indeed. Very difficult. Very difficult indeed. Okay. Oh my god, that's horrifying. Thalassophobia, anybody? Yeah, for real. Jesus. No, screw this. <laughs> no, 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 no. The Pilgrim's Trench has been discovered. Okay, we're going to go to items, potions. Where's that water breathing? Potion of water breathing can bring another water for 15 seconds. I'm going to pop that. And here we have in the coffin, the Sovereign Ban. Magic regenerates 10% faster. Increase your magic by 50 points. Well, that is great, isn't it? Okay, we'll take that. We've got final lesson. Master Elaine's last words. What is final lesson? The final lesson by Agratheus Golf. It is time for you to leave your apprenticeship here, said the great sage to his students, Texim and Vongoldak. Uh, how long is this? That is pretty damn long. So go ahead and pause the screen if you'd like to read that. I don't, have no idea if this is a unique book to this or not. Master Elaine's last words. If you're reading this, it means I'm dead. A fate I'm sure brings a smile to your face. If you're standing on your head anyway. Otherwise it would just be a frown. We can't have that. That would be far too predictable. For who doesn't appreciate a little chaos? Maybe I'll finish this sentence by saying flying hawk -a loaf Hopefully now your frowns are facing the right direction. After all, neither rhyme nor reason has a home here. Fire is water, up is down, right is wrong, death is life. 
And so like the lack to loreth before me, I speak to you now, dear apprentice, from inside this box. A wise sage might caution you to be careful when you follow my path, lest you end up in the same place. But I have never claimed to be wise. To me, death is yet another adventure, another possibility to explore. The same should be true of your life. Always love the writing for these creation club stuff. Pretty darn good, actually. Okay, looks like we did it. Whatever it was that we were doing. I'm gonna nab this fish. Yoink. Okay, let's swim up. 15 seconds is not that long of a time. Let's hop out of here. Uh, okay, now what? Quest, summon the Dramora. And I guess we have to go over to Sky Temple Ruins because they mentioned there was a... An altar on the right side. And also, what ring do we currently have? Whatever it is, I guarantee it's not as good as the ring that we just picked up. The ring of wielding. One-handed attacks do 20% more damage. We're going to equip the Sovereign Band. Magic regenerates 10% faster. Increase your magic by 50 points. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Ooh. Ooh check this out. Huh? Ah! My... No! No, 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 no. My god. Freaking bears, man. Every single time. You gotta be smart here. Need to heal, need to heal, need to heal, need to heal. Yes, keep rolling, keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, ro Oh, why am I dealing no damage to this? Feels glitched. Woo! That's effing teamwork. What's your favorite position? That's cool with me. It's not my favorite, but I'll do it for you. What's your favorite dish? I'm not gonna cook it, but I'll order it from Zanzibar, and then I'm gonna activate Summon Daedra. Okay, we're gonna save the game here for a thumbnail. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Defeat the Dramora Sad Kinaz. Okay, Conjure Foul Zombie. Let's do it. Ooh, he's pretty strong, actually. Oh, he's got a frost cloak. Got him. Okay, what do you have? Blue sigil stone. Ooh, and it like rotates too automatically. Check that out. Daedra heart. We're going to chomp that up. Iron mason and iron dagger. Okay, I don't know if it's going to summon the next one immediately. It is. Restoration increased to 41. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and take out gold brand. And we'll take out oak flesh. Okay. Super cool. Maybe we'll reduce the difficulty. Doesn't need to be on expert. I just want a decent challenge. Dying in two hits. Come on. Dying in two hits isn't really that great of a challenge, in my opinion. Okay. Let's see, fast healing. Go ahead and use Oak Flesh. Okay, and then let's see. Conjure Foul Zombie. As a distraction. And we'll do one of these. Where the heck did he go? Gotcha! Dramora Leer Kynaz. Down he goes. Defeat the Dramora. Defeat the Dramora Sovereign. We got a green sigil stone. A Daedra heart. Okay, and we got one more guy. This guy looks scary. Let's see. Items, scrolls. What do we have? Scroll of Flame Cloak. Okay, we're going to also use Oak Flesh again. And then fast healing. Okay, I need a potion. Lingering Poison Shore. Stamina, Magicka, True Shot, Stamina, Stamina, Magicka, Poison, Frost, Magicka, Magicka, Stamina, Magicka, Stamina, Magicka, Healing. 
Fortify magic or fortify heavy armor. Fortify health. Alright, I just need my unrelenting force. Come on. Jeez Louise. Okay, we are dead if we don't have any healing. Haggling magicka, magicka. Why is it all magicka and stamina? Come on now. Yeah, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. Unless... Slaughterfish, Brook Bass, Carp, Pogfish. Ah, the Carp. Son of a bee. I think I'm dead. Yep. Just that damage over time. That's fine. I'm good with that. Okay. No worries. Uh, let's see. We will summon... So we will do Oak Flesh first. We will grab Gold Brand in the right hand instead. And then we will... Use some blocking. Okay, and let's go. Yeah, Gold Brand's just really, really, really good. Where the heck did he go? Gotcha. Yeah, now I've got the drop on you, pal. How does it feel, huh? See ya, buddy. You cheap little bastard. Orange Sigil Stone, Daedra Heart, Daedric Sword of the Inferno. Very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and do one of these. Completed Craft the Arm of the Sun at a Staff Enchanter. Oh no, where do I find a Staff Enchanter? Craft the Arm of the Sun at a Staff Enchanter. Craft the Arm of the Moon at a Staff Enchanter. Craft the Warlock's Mark at a Forge. Okay, I think, uh, whatever that one place is called, Chill Blood, Blood Chill Cavern. Hopefully this place has a Staff Enchanter. I think it does. Seems like the new stuff does, in general. To Blood Chill Cavern! Aha, look how beautiful this is. Whee! Wold Natest. Okay, let's see. Where was our main room? Not this one. I think it was this one, and I do indeed see a Staff Enchanter. Excellent. Okay, miscellaneous. Arm of the Moon requires the Arm of the Moon and the Green Sigil Stone. Blah, blah, blam. Arm of the Sun requires Orange Sigil Stone and Arm of the Sun. Okay, and then we need a Forge. We'll take a look at these in a second here. I think we have a Forge over this way. What was our forge? It was in one of these rooms. Haha. -ha. Use anvil? Is that, does that count? Jewelry, maybe? Warlock's mark. Yep, requires warlock's mark and the blue sigil stone. Blah, blah, blam. And that's probably that quest completed, I'm imagining. Let's see. Completed the arms of chaos. Let's take a look at what these are, shall we? We've got apparel. We've got the Warlock's Mark. Conjuration spells cost 30% less to cast. Ooh. As opposed to Necklace of Miter wielding one-handed attacks do 50% more damage. Yeah, Warlock's Mark we will take. And then we've got weapons. We have got the Arm of the Moon. Look at that. That looks awesome. Random chance to demoralize or frenzy a target for 60 seconds. Demoralize or frenzy. So frenzy, they'll attack anything. Demoralize, they'll run away. Put that in the left hand, maybe. Arm of the Sun. Dang, check that out. Not too shabby. Burns the target for 39 points. 30% chance for Frost and Shock to do 39 points of damage. Man, okay. And then that's what this looks like. Excellent. All right, we'll test these out in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this one. Remember, if you enjoyed this... Consider leaving a like, consider leaving a comment, consider subscribing with the bell turned on. All helps out this channel and series to grow and tells me you want to see more. And check out the Patreon and Twitch links if you want to go the extra mile in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.